back to Elnil Marina. It's another beautiful day. I'm on a boat that we launched yesterday. This boat is a sail away and it's for a chap called Andy. He's an electrician and he's going to fit it out himself. But what's really interesting is what Andy has asked us to do electrically and what he's going to do himself. Let's have a look in the engine room first. So a jump cut and a jump actually. And I'm here down in the engine room. It's looking fabulous, it really is. And it's a nice place to work. Everything's so spaced and, um, and well labeled. Um, I just want to point out before I bring the camera down is the throttle up here and the two switches and the two blank spaces uh, below it. The throttle panel or plate as we call it, this thing here which has a film on it at the moment and then round the other side is the bow thruster and the shore charger which have all been fitted. So I have an announcement to make. That is, is that we are stopping doing mothership motors and we are starting doing Torkmar motors. Um, they are very, very similar, a little bit better, more software and um, it's exciting. I'm going to show you one now. Big moment here, drum roll, Torkmar motors, beautiful things, very similar to the Mothership Marine motor, but a little bit sexier, I have to admit. Let's have a look at the back of the motor, and there's one thing that isn't there, and that's a thrust bearing, because that is included in the motor bearings itself, so it's all internal. So you can see the shaft coupling there, it's an R&D shaft coupling, and then that is the seal there, the shaft seal, stopping the water from coming outside the boat, into the boat, and they work very well. But in spite of that, we've got a little bilge pump there. Now that is automatic, but you can turn it on manually as well. Just having a look at this motor from another angle, it looks really good, but let's show you around this pristine engine room. So there's the weed hatch, swan neck for the hospital silencer, there's the RCBO for the shore and generator, hospital silencer itself, a generator, which is a Kohler generator, 1500 RPM, five kilowatts, that's really all you need. Above it is a calorifier, and we've already linked the calorifier into the generator, so that will capture any heat that the generator might push out. And then we've got the battery isolator down here. That's the starter battery for the generator. We've also got a charger in place as well because we only run the generator a little in the summer and the battery tends to go a little bit flat. So we put a battery charger in there. Um, in here is the fuel filter for the generator and there's the supply and return and a shut off valve at the top there for the diesel for the generator. And then that pipe there coming down here is for the bilge pump which is fitted down there. That completes your talk. So welcome aboard. What not the sail away. Sounds very empty in here and that's because it is. I'll show you that in a minute. I mentioned to you that Andy was an electrician and you'd think he'd have all the tools required to do all of this. But he said, you know what, I'm retiring. This is new stuff for me. I'll do the stuff that I'm familiar with. Now, I'm going to just take this from Kerry, the camera, and show you in the cupboard as to what you get. So it's all looking very sparkly. There's a light in the top there, which is very useful. Now, you see the isolators there. There's uh, the 24 volt isolator, the motor isolator, the Quattro, which is the inverter, and then down there is the battery isolator. Over here, we've got the Quattro, the isolation transformer, very important bit of kit, and then we've got the MPPT, which takes the solar charge. We've got some protection here, which is for the solar array, and then some solar fuses there. And then over here, we've got the Orion, which is a DC to DC converter taking 48 volts and turning it into 24. And then that feeds into this fuse board here, which is at the moment is only powering a couple of things. Now, in this IC isolation box, 
there are two RCBOs and they are for the in and the out of the Quattro. So that's all there is to show you in here, but um, it's all very well thought out. You can understand everything and it's very easy to take it further. Let me show you where the power is coming from now. So we're using these batteries here, which are LEOC batteries. They are 100 amp hours and they are 48 volts. Now there are six of those all linked together and Jolly, who's the chap who puts all of this together, is, um, is, is continuing to do an excellent job. So thank you, Jolly. Um, I'm sure Andy will appreciate it in the years to come. Welcome to the ultimate man cave. It's a beautiful place. You can do whatever you want in here. Now we've done a lot to help Andy and I'll just go through those individually. Insulation. But let's take a step back. When this shell came from the shell manufacturers, it was painted fully on the inside with two pack epoxy paint. That's good for rust and things like that. Now, insulation is spread all over. Now that cuts out condensation completely and also it keeps you very warm. And we put the windows in. As it says, these are from Caldwell's. They are double glazed with a thermal break. They're beautifully made things and they fit in nicely. Ballast. Now underneath this floor here, this gray floor, are three tons of bricks. Each one of those bricks weighs three kilograms. They are concrete commons. They are perfect for this job and they help keep in naval architects terms your boat nice and stiff so it doesn't flop over. You want to keep your center of gravity on a boat nice and low. Now on top is exterior gate ply. This ply is painted both sides so there's no chance of any mildew building up then. And Andy will cover all of this with an, an overlay at some point. Now you'll notice that there are big sheets running down the middle and smaller sheets down the side. Water tank. So this is a specially shaped water tank, 650 litres. It is made out of stainless steel and it's been covered with this insulation to stop condensation. There is an inspection plate. It's made by a company called J Wolf Tanks. They're really good, I'd recommend them. And we've put in what connects it to the exterior, which is a breather and the water inlet. Everything else is for Andy to do. So back at the back end of the boat here, I uh, just wanted to bring your attention to the Ecrano. Um, this is the Victron screen. Uh, currently we're showing a state of charge of 95%. We are inverting. We've got a solar charge of 1100 watts coming in, which is lovely to see. And the one thing I will like to mention to you is this little screen here. Now, it's very quiet. And it might surprise you to know that we've actually got our motor going at the moment. We um, are running at 124 RPM, and that's obviously more than covering the, uh, the, the range, so we can almost go on to affinity, really, so long as the sun keeps shining. We're not using an awful lot of power, and we can see the state of charge here. That there is a, a facility to link a little sat nav to it and that will give you your speed as well. So that's something that we offer with the Torkmar motor. This here is to turn the generator on and off and that will probably find itself on the inside of the cabinet a little bit later on. But um, Andy will finish all of this off and um, I'm sure he'll do a lovely job of it because he's got lots of time to. One last thing to point out to you before we sign off is the bow thruster. I'll take the camera from you, Kerry. Now down in the fore locker is the bow thruster. It's beautifully installed with a battery either side, both 12 volts. Two of those together in series make 24. They're not easy to fit. And I think that we've succeeded in fitting all of the tough bits, leaving all of the fun bits for Andy to do. So we really do wish him all the luck and um, we will perhaps be showing you the result at the end of the day. So good luck to Andy and um, if you want to find out a little bit more about Sailaways, please get in touch. Thank you very much for watching on this beautiful day.
Bye-bye.